Mr. Martin, when did police, I know that Trayvon was coming home to your place, to your condo, your, your girlfriend's condo that evening. And I know it was raining outside. And I'm trying to figure out when did you realize what had happened? Didn't you think that he had gone to a movie and then you find out many hours later, whoa, he did not go to a movie. What, what's going on? Uh, once I, once, I mean, once I start making the 911 calls and the, um, trying to contact the sheriff's department uh, to find out had, had, in, had they any information on them, and it was, you know, they kept telling me no. Uh, and I decided, mm -hmm. once I decided to file a missing persons report, um, and the first, when I, I, I described Trayvon to the dispatcher, and it was strange, five minutes later, she called me back and asked me what was he last wearing. Oh. And when she asked me that, uh, I, it didn't register, but it, it just seemed strange. And uh, she told me that they were, when she told me they were dispatching a unit to the, to the residents, um, I just thought it was that they were coming to take the missing persons report, and uh, it was when, when three cars pulled up, I knew something was wrong. Oh. Mm. Miss Fulton, I know it's just overwhelming. You're, you're dealing with Trayvon being gone, and now all of this other other. When you learned that a charge had finally happened, it's a murder to charge, what did you feel at that moment? Did you expect it to happen? I, I, I had faith in God that uh, Ms. Corey's office would take a look at the evidence and I just had faith that they were going to take a look, uh, a thorough look at it and that decide to arrest him. So I always believed that he would be arrested. Um, it just took longer than I actually thought. Um, it, it's, it's very difficult for me on a day-to-day -day basis because, um, of course, I've had uh, family members to pass away. But Hi. when a, a child passes away, it just really hits home. And just for the circumstances that, that it was, I mean, Trayvon did not have an illness, and I was expecting him to, to die, you know, and, and it just, it, he had a bright future. And it just bothers me, just in my mind, it just bothers me to think about all the things that he could have done with his life. Well, I, I wonder at, at that moment what he was thinking, what went through his mind. And you know what I pray? Not only for peace for you two in your hearts and for justice in this case, whatever that may be, but that he did not suffer, that he did not understand what was happening, and, and then it was a quick, quick passage onto heaven. That, that is what I pray for. That evening, it's my understanding, he was on his way back to his dad's, and he was on the phone with the, a girl, I think she's 13, 14 years old, and he was concerned someone was following along behind him. And I think all of us, that have been out in the world have had that thought that someone was behind us, you know, whether you're walking to your house or your the parking deck. And I find it very difficult to believe, Miss Fulton, that him saying on the phone, like, some guy's behind me, that he would double back if he were afraid at all, that he would go back to that guy. Does that sound like Trayvon to you? Would he have done that? No, and it really doesn't make sense because on the 911 tapes, um, Trayvon is running away from him. Trayvon was just trying to get back to the house. He wasn't looking to do any harm to anyone. He wasn't looking to commit any crime. He simply went to the store. So it's just very difficult for me to just listen to all the negative things that they have said about Trayvon. And I know my son. He's just an average teenager. You know what? I've heard it all. It hasn't been repeated on our show. Ms. Fultz, I can guarantee you that because I do not tolerate slurring and throwing mud at a crime victim. And what, regardless of what a jury does or what the facts come out in this case at trial, he is a victim regardless of what anybody says. So 
all of that, that doesn't mean a hill of beans, Miss Fulton and Mr. Martin, what people are saying about Trayvon, except that it is hurtful to you. It is. It is.